it is Swansea against Luton today after the absolute mess that was the last couple of minutes uh, against Millwall. Well, they've got a bounce back today, haven't they, this one's a bit of a debacle on, uh, on Tuesday. Really good for, what, 90, 92 minutes? A couple of chances for Millwall in that, but never looked like they were going to score. And then all of a sudden, two on goals and pure chaos at the uh, Swansea.com. So, Luton today, they do like uh, an, like an aerial ball. They've got a couple of players. Adebayo is, uh, wins a lot of balls, so it's uh, it's going to come down to the likes of Darling. Maybe Cabango will start today to really stop him winning the uh, aerial balls, the flick-ons for uh, his teammates. Haven't scored a lot of goals, Luton, so... It's likely going to be long balls, soaking up some of the Swansea pressure and hitting them on the counter-attack. Do create some chances, mind, but just very poor at finishing. It's probably why they're in the uh, the bottom three at the start of play today. I mean, just in mind. Let's see if, uh, if we get another good game. It was a really good game on uh, on Tuesday, must be said. Really, really good game. Let's see what's in store today. Going to go and get ourselves set up at the top for our commentary position and then get some grab and a coffee. Lovely day today, absolutely gorgeous it is. Starting to fill up a little bit. We're about five minutes away from getting the teams. I suppose for the uh, for the Swans, what they really need to do now is uh, work on what they did the first 90 odd minutes, basically. If they can get a couple of goals and actually hold on to a lead, that'll be a big improvement for them. And for Luton, I'm gonna win this season yet. Good record against Swansea, relatively recently. They'll be banking on that. It's probably the best time to come here as well. Swansea may be a little bit on the ropes. Two late goals conceded, so Luton will want to uh, try and add to the pain for the Swans. Let's go get the teams. All right, then we have the teams. We we'll start with Swansea. Couple of changes. One in four. Slatterbodia has uh, got a shoulder injury. Dislocated, I think. So that's uh, three to five months for him. No one's also out onto the bench. Sorenola and Cabango come in. So Andy Fisher, Nathan Wood, Harry Darling, Ben Cabango, Marty Sorenola, and Ryan Manning, Joe Allen and Matt Grimes in midfield. Peru and Cham and Oberfemi leading the line and Luton make four changes from their 2-0 uh, defeat to Bristol City out go Bradley, Osho, Woodrow and Morris and uh, in come Lockyer, Musquay, Clark and Freeman this is how I think they're going to line up Holvarth and goal Potts, Lockyer and Burke are the back three Bree and Bell either side it's going to be uh, Clark and Campbell I think in midfield with Freeman just in front of them but I've set them up like this with uh, Adebayo and Masque up top. And those are the uh, the benches for the two sides. Well, it's interesting that Swan's team have just come out. We're about uh, 40 minutes or so, I think, until kickoff. The Luton side, by the way, have been out for about 10 minutes. They've done loads of warming up. Half an hour until kickoff. Four changes here, Luton, so a little bit surprising, but of course, midweek games kicking in. Got to get a bit of rotation. Just wondering about now how Martin's going to be dealing with some of the uh, the strengths of Luton. A bit of pre-match prep, of course, trying to find out a little bit about the opposition, how they're going to match up against Swansea. A few of their strengths, of course, aerial duels. Adamio, Potter, Bree are the three in their side who win the most aerial duels out of the entire team. That's going to be something that the Swans are going to need to really look at throughout this game. It's going to be the, the major thing that they need to look at in terms of the uh, the threat that uh, will be posed to their back line. Not a big sight, Swans, yeah, they've got to look at it. Likes of Allen and Grimes in midfield aren't going to be winning many headers. So it's going to fall to Cabango. Maybe that's why he's in the, in the team. Does win a lot of headers. Darling's a big boy, Wood's a big boy. They're going to have to be uh, really on it to keep Musquay and Adebayo quiet. The other element of it, of course, we got to look at Alan Campbell as well in midfield. He's just had a Scottish cap in May, first Scottish cap for him. He's got the most dribbles in their side, so from the centre of midfield, it is going to be key that uh, Alan and Grimes watch him very closely. That might fall to um, and Cham and Peru to drop back and help out as well. And with the likes of Freeman, who looks like putting in a cross, he's got the most crosses in this uh, in this side. He's going to be a danger to pick out uh, his forward men. I can see them being quite passive throughout this game. Swansea knocking around like they do in the opposition half. It's going to 
take some individual skill, I think, maybe to break through this Luton team. This game has goals, though. Every time these two sides meet, there are goals. That's been a nil-nil, I think, since the 50s between these two sides. So I'm expecting goals. I'm expecting shaky defences. I'm expecting individual skill. I don't like predictions. I got 2-1. I think Luton will score ahead. There you go. There's my prediction. I suppose as well, for anybody who wanted to know, I uh, commented for um, a radio station called Radio City, uh, and I have worked for Swans TV as well. Patterson to his left, Peru looking for the shot, oh, it's come off the post, back to Peru, and he scored again for Swansea City. Swans TV, by the way, there's Andy Ro Robinson just there with uh, Anthony O'Connell, getting themselves ready for Swans TV live coverage. But we uh, we provide some uh, audio commentary to uh, visually impaired in the, in the ground as well as on uh, 1386 AM. Half time. Newton have been very good. Very good on the ball. Very good defensively as well. Almost to a man, they've defended very, very well. You can see Swansea, Piru and, uh, and Sorin are on the right. They switched a little bit. And Cham and Manning on this left side, they consistently make diagonal runs across each other to try and create space. And they're doing it regularly, but aren't being picked out. And, that's because of the way Luton are defending, and defending so, so well uh, in this first half. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant defending from them. Took a lead, nice strike from uh, from Campbell on uh, 15. Swansea don't deal with the corner, really. It's a, a cross from, uh, from this side, Freeman, in swinger. I thought Fisher got to it at first, punched it out. But it comes off a defender, and it's hit first time by Campbell. It's hit it really low, uh, past him, and he can't get down quick enough. I think he could do better there, uh, Fisher, but hasn't, uh, hasn't done enough to keep it out. So, 1-0. Made a really good save after though, Fisher, in fairness to him. Pots with a header, put into the far corner. It's a really good save to Timmy Brown. I mean, for the first 25 minutes, Swansea were, were sixes and sevens. Mango doesn't look at, at it at all. No awareness of the game. Is he not used to the left side and centre back? A, a position I'm not sure. Really is, uh, really is struggling uh, on this side. Uh, Adebayo's beaten him a couple of times. Aerially, they've been superb going forward, Luton Town. Long balls up towards Adebayo and Musquay, winning nearly every single ball. Swansea have put about four corners in and about three free kicks from wide positions. Not a single header has been won by a Swans man. In terms of uh, Swansea on the ball, 60 odd percent possession. That is mostly in the last 20 minutes of the half. Again, movements from Peru and, and Cham trying to drop in to create some space for Sorinola and Manning for either side to run into. It hasn't quite worked to a man. Luton defensively impressed superbly. Full of energy. Haven't given Swansea any time on the ball whatsoever. I'll see you full time. Full time. To another Luton. Wow. Outpouring of anger from uh, the fans around us. I mean, how, how poor do you want to be regularly at all? I'm one now in seven at all. Luton came here, did a job. Did a really good job. Pressed superbly well. Didn't give Swansea any time on the ball in, in patches. Almost man-to-man uh, -man marking at times. Dominant in the air. Won every aerial duo. Oberfermi didn't get a sniff. Piru had a couple of uh, swipes at a shot, but uh, blocks came in. Never tested the keeper at all. One header that tested um, Hobart in the Luton goal from Piru. And uh, almost got to the second ball as well. That was about it. Congreve came on, he was a bright spark, he was uh, pacey, a couple of step overs, got to the pipeline and put balls in. He looks like a player that could do some things for Swansea. Luton up, came here, well done to him, fair play. Nathan Jones got his tactics absolutely spot on. Really, really good job from him to uh, come here today and get their first win of the season. Just outstanding performance, it really, really was. What baffled me, and you'll, you'll watch you'll watch highlights. Big Manning at right back and Sorinola at left back. And then in the second half, took Wood off, but Norton on. Put Norton at left back, Sorinola at attacking uh, wide right area, and Manning stayed at right back. They're always coming inside and crossing with their stronger, uh, stronger feet with, a, with an in swinging ball. I think Russell Martin's going to have to uh, answer some questions here. Lots of poor players couldn't even pick a part. I couldn't pick a positive for you. Really poor from a Swans perspective. Well done, Nathan Jones, and well done, Luke. Fans came here today, really noisy, played some good football at times, really good on the ball as well, not just uh, pumping it along to, big, to, the, to the big men, but they were really good on the ball. Did what they had to do, scored at the right times, 2-0 winners. The uh, second goal, Carlton Morris, by the way, got, his, uh, got the second goal about 15 minutes before the end, lovely play from him, just switched it on to his left foot, drilled it past the keeper, 
had no chance Fisher in the end. 2 0 uncomfortable and cruising. They don't look like they should have been in the bottom uh, in the bottom three. Not the solid day. I think Luton will do well. Of course they got the playoffs last year. I think they'll do well this year. The question is, how badly is Swansea going to do this year? And it could be really bad. I'll see you uh, next time. Back here for the Kimpyard game in a couple of weeks' time. See you again. Oh.